Welcome to Exam Assure. Today we will be discussing about the detailed application form filling process for the exam of architectural assistant which will be conducted by the Delhi Development Authority. Now to begin with you need to visit their website that is www.dda.gov.in slash latest slash jobs. So we will be also putting this link in the description box below. You can click on it and visit the site as well. Now, once you go to this page or this website, you will see a page where it mentions about direct recruitment 2023, which is for these posts. Now over here, what you need to do is click over here to view the further details. Now, from there, you will be redirected to another page, which will look like this. And over here, what you need to do since you are uh, enrolling or you are registering for the first time, you need to click on to register. And for that, you need to click here. So basically, you need to create your profile. And for that, you need to click here. Now, once you click on that, you will be uh, taken to the registration page where you need to select the post and uh, fill in all your other details. So now since this post is for that of an architectural assistant, you can click over here and select architectural assistant. The post code will appear on its own. After that, fill in all your other details like your name, your mobile number, email address and so on and move on to generate this OTP. Now, over here, once uh, you click on generate OTP, it will ask you to type this image text that you see over here. And once you click on submit, you will get an OTP on your registered mobile number or your email address. So you have to enter the OTP over here, click on validate OTP. And then uh, over here, you have to click on this I agree. Once that is done, you will see this blue tick mark like you can see over here. And then again, type this image text that is see, shown on your screen, whatever the text may be. And click on re-verify. So this is basically a process to verify your details, what you have submitted. Now, again, it will show you your the post you're applying for, your name, your mobile number, and your email address. Right. So this is just to cross check if these details are correct, because these cannot be changed later on once you start filling in the application form. So you need to cross check. And if there is some change that you want to make, you may do the same. So once this is done, you have to again click on all these boxes if everything is correct. So it will look something like this and then proceed to submit this registration form. Now, once you have submitted the registration form, it will display a privacy notice pop up and uh, you will have to click on I agree over here. Then moving further, you will have to once you submit the registration form. It will redirect you to this page. Now over here, what you need to do is once your registration is complete, now we have to move on to filling the application form. So for that, after you're done with the registration, it you will see this page. And over here, what you need to do is go to the right top corner over here of your screen where it is mentioned as go to application. Now, once you click on this go to application, you will be redirected to a page that will look like this, where you need to fill in four categories. That is the eligibility criteria, your communication details, qualification and experience and the documents and payment. So for the eligibility criteria now, since you have registered already, all of these details that you can see in gray over here will appear automatically. However, you need to fill in other details like your gender, date of birth, nationality, so on and so forth. Again, for the test city, that option that we need to choose. So over here, there is only one option that is Delhi NCR as the exam will be held in the NCR region. So you have to select that. 
fill in all the other details and then click on save and next. So after that is done from the eligibility criteria, if you completed everything, the tab will turn green and then you will move on to the next one that is about communication and details. So over here again, you have to fill up all your address and details of that sort. Then you will be directed to the next page that is qualification and experience. So here you need to fill up your 10th standard, 12th standard and graduation details that which are compulsory. And then you also have your uh, another in case if you've done your masters, you need to fill up that as well. So here uh, also you just need to fill up your marks. They are not asking you to submit any mark sheets or upload any mark sheets as of now while filling up the applications. So once you've done with filling your 12th, 10th and 12th marks, then moving on to your graduation details and then additional qualification here, you can type in your masters. If you have done your masters, you can type in those details over here as well. Once this is done, then we come to the last page regarding document and payment. So in documents, you have to upload two things. One is your photograph and the other is your scanned signature. So for the photograph, the size of the image shall be between 50 KB to 80 KB and the dimension should be 3.5 centimeters by 4.5 centimeters. And the same goes for the signature. The size of the signature shall be between 50 KB to 80 KB and in a JPEG format. So one otherwise, if these criteria are not matched, then the image will not get uploaded. So make sure that you have it in this format already so that we don't waste a lot of time later on. Now, once this is done again, uh, you in case for female candidates, the registration fee is not applicable. Hence, you can see zero over here, but otherwise you will have to pay the mentioned amount that is given over there. Now, after that, you will have to click on this declaration form where you have to tick all these boxes and again, re-enter the image text, whatever is seen on your screen and move to submit. Then once you click on this submit over here, you your registration will be done your application form is filled and uh, the, you're done with the process so uh, just reminding you all again about the important dates so the last date for filling the form is 2nd of july that is next weekend by 6 pm so in case if you have not yet filled the form please do so because let's not wait for the last minute and hope this video was helpful for all of you. Thank you.